What's up friends? It's Bazzy here again, feeding my TCG Genshin Impact card addiction. Uh, we're back to try a freeze deck, uh, which is perhaps the most soulless, cruel and frustrating thing you can do in a Genius Invocation. But listen, we'll try it out and see what it's like. So we have Mona, we have Ganyu and we have the Oceanid. Pretty simple. I haven't really put too much research into support cards, but the main ones that I'm a big fan of are Jade Chamber, Catherine for quick swaps, um, Iron Tongue Chien because he can give you energy and it can really take your opponent by surprise, Strategize for card drop, usually to um, reroll elemental dice. Leave it to me is a good one as well if Catherine is stubborn and isn't showing up early on. And then the last one that I like using is Send Off, which can counter other freeze comps by destroying their summons and stopping their applications. Um, everything else I've just kind of thrown in because I don't really know what they do. <laughs> so yes, let's try out this simple freeze comp deck in PvP and see what we can learn. Kim. Greetings, Kim. We got Jade Chamber early, which is good. Two Jade Chambers, because why not? I don't know, should you really have two in a deck? However. Oh, good stuff. Hmm. Dodge this. Okay, so far it's so good. Catherine just to fodder off, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna go for Cryo now. We're gonna activate our gun. You look at all that hydro though. Sorry, but we can't. Or we shouldn't, is the. We still actually have hydro. We'll see. We'll do another hydro attack if he switches to D Luke, which I think he might. Because if he doesn't. He no. Okay, this. That was an odd choice. What are my orders? Access denied. And your Kai is dead. <laughs> And your deal is going to die soon, too. Um, yeah, we're going to stay on Ganyu because the Hydro Mimics are great at applying Hydro after turns. So we can actually proc another freeze on him. We'll be able to actually ult, which is a bit mad. All hail. And I 
We're actually going to... Attack for four damage. And then <laughs> Diluc should be... Um, Should be dead after this turn. The power of summons. There can be no excuse for It's a bit of a shame that that doesn't apply cryo, but anyway, we'll we'll do this reverse. We'll do reverse freeze now. So we are gonna keep that hydro. Oh. Hey. Good reroll. There's really no point in doing that. We're just doing that to um, apply. Why did they cancel their turn? There is no escape. Maybe they know the jig is up. Nothing really she can do. So I think we just kill her with ocean in now. Yeah, J Chambers, the value of that is so big. Uh, yeah, so we can actually just. So we can do, we can randomly summon one mim Mimic, or we can summon two. Water's form is ever changing. I don't know why we've done that, we can't actually, uh, Maybe it's just it's just the threat that we can attack her. Look at the power that we have. Hey, but yeah, this is death by mimics. <laughs> I told you this is a soulless deck. Oh wait, I totally forgot the frog gives you shield, not attack. Death by mimics next turn. Oh, we can actually just alter. She might be able to do something though. Oh. Goodbye, Ningguang. Goodbye, Kim. GG. So the deck does work. Mona is pretty surface to requirements, so we might um we might change her out, who knows. We'll give a few more goes and see what it's like. So, co-op match. Here we go. Oh, so we're against the Superconduct team. This will be fun because it will be hard to predict what or when he's going to unleash his Kaching. Right, so... We are going to keep contamination must be washed away. Oh, dear, so much dendro. Oh, this is bad. We need strategize or something for card draw just to 
transfer elements. this actually in the image of the wilderness that's good so we have hydro application for three turns we're going to play Catherine and play Chien and then call it a day so we don't have many cards for transfer of energy, but we can remain hopeful. Thought we'll pull some good ones here. So we're going for Frost. We're going for Cryo so that Ganyu can start wrecking heads, taking names. We have Catherine, so we have a quick swap available. Mona has like some sort of weird passive as well where she can like... Yeah, this skill is constantly in effect and need not be activated. She kind of messes with the whole flow of things, which I should really check up on to see if I can exploit. But you see, the only thing is Mona's Mona's ability only goes for one turn, so she's not the best it at um not water too. She's not the best at application. As per our contract. Okay. Um Born of Icy Frost. And play Dawn Winery. They have seven elemental thing and they're choosing not to do anything. It's a bit odd. Now we can go for a Ganyu ult. Or maybe not. <laughs> the game did not want to play ball with us. They're playing as well in so far as that I haven't really had much of an opportunity to cause much annoyance to them and they've kind of chunked my, my ocean it, but we'll get there. Alright, we're gonna switch to her. There is no escape. We're gonna play this. Insufficient energy. <gasps> she needs three. Damn. She could actually die from this. In fact she will die probably. I think I just totally miss miss thing that when yeah. Sword comes shadow. I totally messed Where that up. For some reason, I thought she had cryo application on her. Anyway, what are my orders? Uh, 
Or Rex Lapis. You never know, we might still be able to do something. Oh, they're going to start superconducting. She's going to switch off Kaching anyway, so... <clears throat> Switching to the ocean there was such a random play. But we'll get Kaching out. Still everything to play for. They have no reactions, whereas we can at least keep freezing. <laughs> Really unlucky. <laughs> they can actually superconduct off now, which is a bit unfortunate. We will swap to Mona though. In the image of the wilderness. It is as the stars foretold. Um, and we are going to use that into hydro. Is that in the hydro? Delved into destiny. Sweet Madame's pretty bad of a card, isn't it? I don't know whether to use it on Ganyu or keep Mona. High health. The decisions. We're actually not going to. For the simple reason that. Um, <clears throat> we can get first turn and she's only going to do one damage. So she's building up for her. Her ultimate but it's slowly wetting them down. So we're going for a Ganyu ultimate, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So we need We need cryo, come on game, give us a bit of cryo. Or do what you want and give us no <laughs> reruns. Oh god. Right. What are my orders? We have one. Can't use that, we need five. They're going to have to switch to Jinchu, I would imagine. If we had an animal person, we'd be, we'd be sorted if we had our gene in. Maybe an animal character instead of Mona is the way to go. Strategize. Such an OP card later on, later on isn't it? Just to be able to um, swap things in and out. We probably should have picked J. We we should have played J Chamber when we had the chance. He's gonna actually do rain swords, is he? Or 
Probably not a good idea considering Ganyu has Electro on. Didn't think of that. Yeah. We are going to switch to Mona. This is destiny. And we are going to end turn. Yeah, he's going for an attack. Yeah. So we save the Ganyu. We get first turn. Ganyu can pull off her ult. Possibly. We can get rid of summons at least. Get rid of that hydro. This is this is a good game. This is close now. Okay, not too bad. As per our contract. For Rex Lapis. Okay, is this is this happening? Have we made the comeback? Yeah, you better strategize. Look at that card draw that they have on me. Crazy. Ah, uh, okay. They're going for the owl. Oh, wow, okay. I have none of those kind of cards. <laughs> I have Catherine. I have two Catherines. We might actually be able to get Shinchu. Damn, I really shouldn't have done that actually. That was a misplay again on my part, but. Oh, right, they've killed Ganyu. Because he's just going to auto attack. So we're going for Hydro here. I think. Is our best bet. close game so Mona it will be all up to you I think we could use that maybe for like no we couldn't even get an ulti I don't think we don't have enough hydro we could maybe oh we don't even have a cryo if we had if we had one more cryo we could have done something My contract goes unfulfilled. right that's two. Let's do this. Delved into destiny. I have taught you everything I know. Okay, this is it. Let's go. I don't think she. What's her auto? Her auto doesn't do. She can't kill me, I don't think. River carving yeah, she can't. <laughs> but can I kill her? I don't think I can either. No. Now, if she, she can, she can obviously attack. Do another auto attack. Damn, we lose. We lose with one turn. Yeah. How unfortunate. What a good game. Well, we know what we misplayed. We misplayed with the with the Oceanid. Letting his Kaching one shot. But we're here to learn. That's game number two. Couldn't have been closer. 
And let's move on to game number three. Oh no. And they go first. The game already senses the deck we're playing and says, right, okay, we need to punish you. This is what happens with the freeze deck. Um, we're going to... Let's get rid of that card. Because um, depending on how our elemental rules go... There is no escape. We're going to set up our summons. Wow, okay, the game the game is on our side. <laughs> wow, okay. That's an endorsement and a half if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, she switched to Barbara. Switched to Babala. We are going to switch to gun you. We're going to get rid of one of these so that we can do our trail of the killing. Butcher that pronunciation, butcher him and ever. We'll actually play, play Timmy as well. And then we'll end our round. So Barbara's going to get frozen. Um, which is good. We are going to hopefully get a mix of Hydro and Cryo. What? Okay. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a good example of how this deck works. This usually does not happen. Okay, so they're gonna switch to Sucrose. No, did it? That's odd. Um, We're going to Frost Flake Arrow for some damage. And we're going to actually play our Dawn Winery. And then we are going to end round. So now we have first attack next round. They won't, yeah, they won't be able to do much. It's frozen. This is very frustrating, to probably, to play against. We attack first. Not the greatest of rounds, but... We're actually going to get rid of the cryo. We need hydro applications, so we're going to hopefully get some hydro. There we go. Not too bad. We got Catherine as well. Um, oh, we can actually ult with Ganyu, so this okay. is fun. Diluc is still frozen. We are going to switch to there is no escape. the Oceanid. Mona is kind of surface to requirements really here. I think Oceanid is a better Hydro applicator. I suppose Mona is just there for the for the giggles. In the image of the wilderness. Um and then I suppose we could get rid of the healing. Um but what we might do is we might play Catherine so that when we do swap next turn we can combo better. So this is the perfect setup for quick swapping and freezing everyone. And Babel is nearly gone. J Chamber finally coming around. You were missed. So the most frustrating thing about this deck is that, okay, it's, it plays slow, 
but as you can see um i've taken very little damage so you're just preventing more so than anything Because that catalyst is kind of doing the work, isn't it? We are going to actually switch to Ganyu. What are my orders? Ganyu is going to... When you perform switch character, this switch is considered a fast action instead of a combo. Why did that not proc? Hmm. Catherine is bugged. See, she's just going to switch off Barbara then to stop me from um, freezing. Oh, wait, no, it's because I, I thought they were animal. It's my turn. Oops. Ah, I'm so bad. Um, so we do actually have to ferry these out. I thought, I, I thought um, it's because I didn't have the cryo energy. As you can tell, I'm very good at this game. I'm just gonna get rid of Mona's card. So my bad. Quite BM of me then to uh, prolong that. But sure, how and ever. Um, I mean, I suppose we can actually get rid of this and do four. Yeah. Why has everyone stopped singing? singing. And then we're going to cancel. So again, we've taken reasonable damage on the ocean at but here's Sucrose Frozen. And we just rinse and repeat. We're kind of getting all the good starter cards now. Like, Tubby would have been great. Jade Chamber would have been great at the start, but suppose when you have resonance, when you have like two cryo, two hydro, it's a bit easier to fish for your elemental, um, the ones that you want. Right. And we get two ults then. This is long overdue. Now we will see. This should be a quick. There is no escape. Yes. The Catherine value. Um, she does do hydro damage, but we kind of want. We don't need Tubby. And we don't need. Alright. In the image of the wilderness. And then we're going for Hydra. We're going to go for her ultimate at the very end. Where Sorry, did I go wrong? So we're against Sucrose. I'm so sorry, Sophia. I'm just noticing her name. The opponent's name is Sophia. I'm so sorry. This is a soul destroying deck to play and face up against. I make no apologies, really. So all she can do really is swirl that hydro onto other people. Yeah. Oh, she's got a good vape there. Insufficient energy. There we go. The rising flood. A candle in the wind achievement. I'd say when you read that now, it'll be like you're the most broken person in the Genshin. Probably that we're evil. A 